Hey, it's Ricardo and Michelle from Fireside Weekenders, and today we're going to be talking about all the cool gifts that we got for Christmas this year. Yeah, a lot of cool gifts we're excited about. We had some family members who were really eager to spoil us this year. We just recently got our RV a couple months ago in what? Yep, October. October. Um, we brought it home and haven't taken it out. It's we spent a lot of time in it. Yeah. Doing a lot of, a lot of upgrades, time. We're still but no trying, actual camping yet. We're still trying to come in. Last night we got six inches of snow, and we still came in here today. Um, so we're just trying to get everything in its place set up so we are ready to go in the spring. So little by little. So first things first, kids. We have a three-year-old, so keeping her occupied is very hard. <laughs> and important. Yeah, and important. <laughs> for we our sanity. Yeah. So we made sure to add some games for rainy days, stormy days, nighttime. Or just for fun. And just for fun, if she gets too much sun or just wants to come inside yeah. and hang out, we got some games. She has been asking for the last five days to play with these. Um, so these walkie-talkies come with three, which is perfect because Ricardo and I have yet to get our own walkie-talkies for when we're trying to park the RV and communicate. So this comes with three. I originally wanted this in case we ever go camping with friends of Jasmine so she can talk to them in each other's campers, say good night, good morning. But since we don't have our own... <laughs> Why not? It'll work. We can all talk to each other. She can talk to us while she is um, in the car when we're trying to set up. Okay, next is Hungry Hungry Hippo. We've been playing this since Christmas. The balls keep her very occupied. Um, and we just play as a family. And the balls play everywhere. That keeps her occupied, too. It's like that card game <laughs> 52 pickup, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's like a 28 ball pickup. So that keeps her occupied, too. Um, she also, I found this cool game on Amazon, it's Find and Seek. She currently has the cards in her bunk right now. Um, it, it tells you about, um, textures and colors to find outside. Yeah, so she takes the card and goes and finds it outside and can collect. And of course, we'll make sure to put everything back that she collected before we leave. Um, so this just gets her involved in nature, gets Should her dirty, which... <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> We're camping. That's what it's about. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Who's doing the showers? <laughs> Another cool game that has already been opened is this Let's Go Fishing game. And she, oh, she does not have it. It comes with a bunch of little hooks. And when you turn it on, they rotate and you try to grab them. And it's good with hand-eye coordination, too, with a three-year-old who should have started pre-K but didn't because of COVID. We made sure to get her lots of interactive toys. This next one was a big hit. It's called Jumping Jack, and it can also be purchased on Amazon. She has been playing with this one multiple times a day, nonstop. So much so that I'd be surprised if she doesn't get sick of it before our first camping trip. Another great toy for a rainy or cold day was that make-believe s'mores kit. She is big in make-believe, playing with food and sharing, so this is perfect for her. Okay, so let's get into Ricardo's favorite topic. My gift. Tools, <laughs> gadgets, Safety, right? Yep. I okay. yep. can so never have too many safety things. One of the the most important gifts that I got this year is actually two of them, and they go hand in hand. The first one is the ice maker, very important for our trips, and the second one is the bartending toolkit. So oh, that's safety. <laughs> I thought <laughs> oh, you were going to start with safety first. It's You're safety, starting with alcohol. Right. <laughs> okay. So the the bartender kit comes in this nice little pouch or it's like a mailman carry bag type thing you it actually has spots to put in the bottles of liquor in there with little safety dividers which are padded yeah they're yeah. nicely padded and it comes with most of what what you're going to need the, the stir sticks the measuring cups strainers things like that to to help you get the make fancy drinks yeah make fancy drinks while you're out camping the shaker and all of that yeah. so we're, we're looking forward to it yeah 
So moving on to the safety aspect of, of my gifts, the first one that we got was a nice little deal on Amazon. Nothing fancy, but it's the TimeMate TPMS sensors. Um, this is definitely going to help us make sure that we are safe driving down the road, that the tires aren't going to blow out. If we are starting to have a leak, then it should hopefully uh, help us identify that ahead of time or identify potential issues that um, can leave us stranded and hopefully give us enough time to pull off to the side of the road. So if you have it or you've had it before, uh, please let us know what you think about it so we know if we need to return it or not. The other aspect of safety is this uh, little handy air pump, this portable air pump, and it connects to the car cigarette lighter. It has a nine foot cord. We actually have a cigarette plug in our rear uh, trunk compartment, so it should be able to reach where we need it to without any problems. It comes with a fancy flashlight and a digital gauge right on the, the top of it also. I also got a tire repair kit that's, I think, pretty important. And it's something that it's cheap and easy to do. That will just get you off to the next exit, off the highway just for the time. Yeah, or at least limp along into your destination if yeah. you're nearby so you can get to a, a tire repair shop and actually get it swapped out. So yeah. uh, I, I'm looking forward to having that, but hopefully never using it. The next items that we got were a little outdoorsy. This is a fire poker log mover type of thing. It's, uh, it's pretty cool because you can store it either like this or you can bring it down and store it in this uh, configuration here. Hook it up flat against the wall yeah. in a compartment. Either way, it'll be nice to be able to uh, handle the hot logs. You can probably just use a stick, but sometimes it's annoying or hard to find that. Out. So yeah, we, we just got this. I like it. It's pretty cool. Hopefully it works. Maybe a waste. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> And the other thing that we got, we're definitely going to be using these whether we are camping or at home since we do a lot of fires at home, but little s'more sticks. It's a pack of five, I believe. Yep, five. Oh, you almost poked me in the eye. <laughs> Safety. The edges are on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a small trailer, okay? There's not a lot of room here. This is pretty cool. They're telescoping, so if they fit in this nice little bag, and, you know, you can put them out to the, the best reach possible. And what I think is actually pretty cool is that it has this little knob down at the bottom that allows you to roast your marshmallows, you turn, the, yeah, yeah, turn, turn the, the marshmallows and, and get a nice even roast. You can do it just with a finger or both really hands, yeah, yeah. however you want. But I thought that was a cool little feature there. Yeah, they're really lightweight. I like that they compact and they come in a bag so we can just stick them outside in one of the storage compartments and take them out for fires. Clean them, put them back, and that's it. Okay, so next on my list, I am one that loves um, indoor decor. The boring stuff. <laughs> um, ladies, if you're watching, pay attention. So first things first is I put on my Christmas list spice holder. So we have currently one cabinet in our trailer that is already full because it has four plates and four cups in it. So we don't have a lot of space. So I like these because you can, it comes with a chalk marker and you can write what you want, you can change it up. Um, we use a lot of spices to cook. Ricardo is from Puerto Rico and is always trying new things, mixing it up. Um, adding flavor. Adding flavor. Also, it can be used for medicine, vitamins. It can be put up high on the freezer, not in reach of kids. So you can really store anything else in it, bobby pins, hair ties. You can get a nice magnet strip and put it in the, the bathroom. So we may be even ordering more because I'm just going to that. <laughs> <laughs> Next on my list was a trash can. Like I said, our trailer is pretty small. So we had to find a garbage can that not only worked for the space, but with a three-year-old, we needed it to fit a normal size trash bag, which it does if it's a normal 13 gallon size trash bag. So um, it also has a 
pet lock safety. Um, we have a 16-year-old beagle, Lily, um, who we'll be taking out for the first time this spring, but she likes to get in the trash sometimes. Being a beagle, being so old, we can't always take her out and about on our adventure, so she'll be she'll have to stay in the camper sometimes. So we needed to make sure that there was a lock for her safety. Another thing off my list that I really enjoy is a nice cold beer. This was the first gift I opened on Christmas Day. My mom got me this really cool um, cozy kind of like Yeti for a beer bottle. So you just put the beer bottle right inside. And the top even has a bottle opener. And it keeps your beer cold. And you drink it right from the top. Um, so first impression of this is it seems a little big for our cabinet space. But it also has to hold a bottle of beer. So we'll see how this goes. I'll let you know. You may see me using it a lot in the upcoming videos. Ricardo's a liquor drinker. I'm the beer drinker. I just like a nice cold, corona. cold, cheap beer. Sometimes a stout or porter if she I'm feeling fancy. fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something else on my list was an Instapot. We cook a lot of rice, a lot of chicken. We like to steam vegetables. And our stove top is pretty small. So we decided to try an Instapot. We currently have one for inside our house. It's really super big, so it wouldn't fit in here. So this one is a three-quart. It fits right under where I'm sitting perfectly, so when we're ready for dinner, we can just pop it out. And The one we, that we got is a pressure cooker. Also, you can do mac and cheese. Uh, soup. Soups. A, yeah. a bunch of different things, and I think it'll be good for times that we aren't in the mood to really cook and pay attention to it a lot. We can throw a bunch of stuff in and let it do its thing. Yeah. We can take it outside so it, you know, it doesn't smell that much even though the crock pot doesn't really I didn't make. even think about that. You can take it outside and just yeah, set just it, set out, it there out there, there. Yeah, and yeah. play around. Um, just to get a break from grill food if we yeah. ever get sick of grill food. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll go home for that. <laughs> yeah. Next on my list was food screen. We recently, this past spring, summer, went camping with some friends. We actually rented out a RV. And we'll get into that. That'll be a whole nother long, great video, detailed <laughs> video that um, we'd love to share. So there were a lot of bugs where we were. We went into the woods. It wasn't an open area in the Adirondack. Old Lake pool. George. Lake George. A lot of bugs. A lot of bees. Bees were bothering yeah. us a lot. Yeah. So I figured I'd give these a try. Let me know if this is a total waste of space if you have these or if they really do work. So these are just some of the things that we asked for on our list. Obviously, it's not everything. Being new uh, RV owners, we have a huge list with many uh, high-ticket items that we're actually going to be picking up between now and the first uh, trip that we do. So definitely a lot more videos to come out with a lot of how-tos. Uh, we're going to do installation, installation videos and, mm -hmm. and different things like that. Let us know what you want to see, what you want to watch from new RV owners. Our next video, I believe, is also going to be a more formal introduction to ourselves. We're going to discuss kind of how we got into it, what we enjoy of the outdoors. And who forgot what important date and how we got this camper. Oh, my God. <laughs> That is a story to come. We don't have to discuss that now. But yeah, we'll talk about what we're looking forward to, what we're expecting. What our plans are for 2021. Um, talk about our experience with renting and our first time camping. So, so lots to come. Make sure you subscribe to, to the channel. Yeah. Make sure that uh, you continue watching our videos. And hopefully you will gain something from watching our experiences because that's why we're we're doing yeah. this not just to film our adventures for ourselves that's all we do at night is watch other people's experiences <laughs> so thanks for watching and we will see you the next video yeah see you next week something that i enjoy your face. what's wrong with my face you just look annoyed and bored try to say below different below 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 Let's get a little closer, maybe. Not to each other. Hey, everybody.
talking about? 